Decades ago, a disease swept the globe nearly unchecked. Scientists and researchers grappled with this new killer illness that was poorly understood. The only thing they were certain about was that the disease is viral, deadly and highly contagious. This mystery illness was later labeled HIV AIDS. Currently, 37 million people are living with HIV AIDS. What's even more scary is that more than 35 million people have died from it since the start of the epidemic. That's the same as the entire population of Morocco. In this video, we'll walk you through HIV's history, evolution, causes and much more. So, take a break and stick around till the end because this video will be entertainment with education under 6 minutes. Let's begin. In the early 1980s, new and unusual diagnostic patterns began to emerge in different parts of the world. An increasing number of young men were diagnosed with a benign, fairly harmless cancer called Kaposi's sarcoma, which is more common among the elderly. At the same time, another group of patients were diagnosed with a rare and aggressive form of pneumonia. This pneumonia sometimes evolved into a chronic condition which was something specialists had never seen before. By 1981, scientists could connect the dots between these new diagnoses and a number of other opportunistic infections. By the end of the year, the first case of HIV's full-blown disease state, acquired immune deficiency syndrome, was documented. Later in 1986, a morphologically similar but antigenically distinct virus was found to cause AIDS in patients in Western Africa. This new virus was termed HIV-2. Since then, it has been the subject of intense research. Fascinatingly, close human relatives of HIV-1 and 2 were found in chimpanzees and Suti mangabees. These relationships provided the first evidence that AIDS had emerged in both humans and macaques. Now that we know about the origin of AIDS, let's discuss how it affects a person's health. From a medical standpoint, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome or AIDS as we all know it is caused by two lentiviruses. These are human immunodeficiency viruses or HIV-1 and 2. HIV AIDS is a disease that spreads by sexual, percutaneous and perinatal routes. However, 80% of adults acquire HIV-1 following exposure at mucosal surfaces. HIV-1 can also be transferred through blood, semen, vaginal fluid or breast milk of an infected person. However, there is no risk of getting HIV from a person's urine, tears, saliva or sweat unless there's blood in it. And thus, AIDS is primarily a sexually transmitted disease. HIV attacks the victim's immune system. The immune system has many kinds of white blood cells to fight infections. HIV attacks, kills and makes copies of the white blood cells called CD4 cells. Due to an increased amount of virus in the body, the number of CD4 cells goes down and because the immune system can no longer control HIV, the person can become sick. These infections might last longer and can be more severe in someone with a weak immune system. When people get infected with HIV, they may or may not be symptomatic. Some get flu-like symptoms. These symptoms may go away but HIV stays in their blood where it grows and begins to destroy their immune system. The good news is that AIDS-related deaths have dropped by half over the last two decades. But there's more. Unfortunately, there's no cure for HIV AIDS yet. There are medications to control HIV and prevent complications. These medications are called antiretroviral therapy. Starting and maintaining it helps in keeping the immune system strong in keeping the infection away, in reducing the chances of developing treatment-resistant HIV and in decreasing the chances of transmitting HIV to other people. With an early diagnosis and effective treatments, 
most people with HIV will not develop any AIDS related illness and can live a near normal lifespan. Lastly, prevention is always better than cure, especially when something has no cure at all. So, stay safe and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube Prep Ladder Neat channel. We come out with a fresh new video every Saturday from our Take a Break series.